Hi, it's Adam from Months and PCs, and today we're going to be looking at some cool Windows 10 hacks that will make your guys' life a lot more easier. So, let's get into it. Number one. So what we're going to push this time is Control, Windows and D. And what this is going to do is create a new desktop for us. It will continue holding on to that desktop so you won't lose anything, but you will have a fresh desktop that you can open up more Chrome pages. If you wanted different layouts, you can uh, set them up slightly differently. Now to switch between the two, you just need to push Control, Windows, then left or right, and that will take you back to your old desktop or to the new one. If you then push Control, Windows and F4, this will close your desktop that you're currently looking at and take you back to the other one. Number two. Now this one, we're gonna do an Alt tab. And what that's gonna do is scroll us in between all of our open tabs. The more times you push tab, the more it scrolls through. If you then push Windows and tab, this will open a list of all your open applications so that you can then click on which one you want to go with. Number three. So this is the Windows key and then either the left or right arrows. And what this will do is it'll take the window that you've currently got open and it will push it to one side of the screen, left or right, depending on the arrow key that you've pushed. You can then click on another screen and push that to the other side. So essentially giving yourself split screen. Number four. Now this time we're gonna push Control, Shift and Escape and this is gonna bring up our task manager. From here you can see your open applications, force stop them and see which ones are using your computer. Number five. Now this is an interesting one, it's Windows and then the plus or minus keys. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna bring up Windows Magnifier. So instead of clicking and zooming as you would normally and changing the size of all the fonts and the layouts, you can just zoom in and use your mouse then to scroll around the page. So, number six. Now, you will need a computer mouse with a scroll wheel for this one. So if you go down to one of your open apps at the bottom and use the mouse wheel to click, it will open a new window for you. If you right click on any of those at the bottom, this will then bring up your recently closed and some other options so that you don't have to open the app and then decide what you're gonna do. Number seven, Windows and L. What this does is will lock your computer. So if you're walking away and you wanna make sure that nobody's jumping on in the meantime, it's just Windows and L. Number eight, now if you're one of those who loves to have loads of windows open, this is gonna be helpful for you. If you click and drag from the top of one of your windows, give it a little shake, all your other windows will minimize just leaving that one application open. Number nine. Now this is the Windows and the full stop key. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna bring up the emojis. So if you're someone who can't send an email or Facebook message or any of the above without sending emojis, this is ideal for you. Now this does work in any application. It's just the Windows and the full stop key to bring it up. Number 10. Now what we're gonna push here is the Windows and G key. And what this is gonna do is bring up the Windows game bar. Now in here, you can do your screen recording, you can change the sound settings, and there's a whole host of other Xbox features as well. Number 11. So we're gonna speed up our loading times. So first of all, we wanna bring up our task manager, go to startup, and these are all of the apps that are either enabled or disabled for loading when you're starting up your computer. You want to try and make sure as many of these are disabled as it will help speed up your computer when loading. Don't disable anything that you don't know. Things like Spotify or the Xbox app, feel free to disable those and it will help pick up the speeds. Number 12. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through some Chrome shortcuts. So first of all is Control, Shift and T. So if you're on your computer and you've got several Chrome tabs open, you then go through and close a few of those, but you've closed the wrong ones. Control, Shift and T will open your most recent tabs that you had. Next, we're gonna use Control and F, and what this is gonna do is allow us to search for anything on the web page that you're on. So if you're on something that's quite wordy, it's very easy to then find the subject that you want. Number 13. 
Now as we are on my YouTube channel, it would be a real missed opportunity if I didn't ask you wonderful guys at home to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. But on here, we're gonna show you a little trick down in the bottom left. So next to your date, your time, your little notifications, there's a tiny little bar. If you click on that, what it'll do is it'll force you to go to your desktop. So if we open the apps up again, and then back over to the little bar, click it, and all of the applications will minimize. You can click on the bar again and it will bring them all up for you. Number 14. Now everybody knows about the calculator app in Windows, but what we're gonna do is use it slightly differently. We're not just gonna be doing some simple maths like 12 plus two or anything like that. If you go up to the menu in the top left, and then down here you'll see you've got your scientific calculators but you've also got your conversions so you can change things for weight currency heat all of those sorts of things which comes in really really handy and finally number 15. now we're going to create a shortcut on our desktop so if you go to new shortcut and then type in the location of the item which is slide to shut down we're then going to click next and just leave it as that name and finish. Now, if we double click on this, it will bring us a little bar that if we pull down, we'll shut our computer off. We're not looking to do that just yet. So we're gonna bring that to the bottom. Now, along the bottom, you can actually open any of these applications by pushing Windows and the number that the application's in. So we've got six down here already, and this is in the number one position. So Windows one, pull to shut down, and oh. So hopefully you found those hacks super useful. If you have got any others that you guys think are really worth noting, do put them down in the comments below. Guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.